Scott here with UA Lawn Care. Wanted to talk to you guys today about um, starting the new year off right. If you started in the lawn care business last year, you probably started out as a low baller, meaning that you didn't know how to set prices. You didn't know uh, how long it was going to take you to mow yards and all that. This year, you have uh, some numbers to go back on and uh, kind of help you figure out how much um, per acre you charge, how much um, you're going to charge per man hour for uh, a two-man crew, three-man crew, and so on. Um, so you want to start the year out right. You have a, a plan. You got a marketing plan. You got um, how many yards you want to add this year, including how many yards you might lose based on people moving over the winter and so on. Um, you want to focus on networking. You're going to focus on marketing, um, growing your business, and controlling your numbers. Some uh, tips on um, networking would be uh, go to a uh, ne networking event after hours. Uh, right now, you might want to do any networking event that's available as this is kind of the off season for lawn, the lawn business. But if you're in an area where you're snow plowing still, um, do it when you have free time. There's uh, events as early as 7 in the morning, uh, meetings at, at 10, meetings at noon, like they meet for lunch, uh, after work events. Um, there are chamber events, there are uh, rotary clubs, B&I events, different networking groups throughout the country. There are some church groups that meet for early in the morning for um, kind of a Bible study um, where they speak, have a speaker, and they kind of share the word. So if you're into something like that, you can network there. You can also network at your local church. Um, they have events all the time, at least the one I go to. And um, you just... Uh, Continue to market yourself, promote yourself, network with other people, learn how to network, um, learn how to give referrals, be a giver, um, help others out, volunteer um, with Goodwill, United Way, uh, the Freemasons, um, your church group. Uh, there's always uh, different community groups that you can go um, volunteer with. And that's a great way to network with people that are like-minded like you are. They have free time. They probably have a good career that allows them to take a day off to volunteer. So that's a great way to meet your new potential customers. Um, in the winter, as you try to grow your business, get ready for the summer. Um, these are some of the things that I have done in the past and continue to do today. Um, I will be out networking at the different networking events this upcoming week as I have free time. Um, here in Florida, we are still mowing. It's just uh, probably a quarter as much. Um, let's say before I might be doing 50 to 70 mows a week. Now we're down to um, 10 to 15. Um, we're doing uh, yard cleanups, things like that down here. Okay, um, kind of touch on uh, networking as much as possible to get everybody off on the right foot for the upcoming year. Some of the things that you might want to focus on is when you go to a meeting, find out who matters. Um, you don't want to focus on everybody. You if there's 100 people at the networking event, you focus on three people. Find out who they are and how they can help you. Then give them an opportunity so you can give them a referral. Find out what is a good referral for them and their business. Then you give. Then you set up an appointment to, to meet, uh, do a one-on-one, -on -one, let's say at a coffee shop. One-on-one -on -one is uh, where you meet, you exchange um, information, let them know what a good lead is for them. You do your 30-second commercial for them. They do the same for you and so on. So that's a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, number two, um, 
find easy ways to engage everyone that you deal with. So if you're at a networking event, you don't want to walk up to a big group of people unless that's your, your personality. So if you're uh, shy or better talking to other people, smaller groups, approach it that way. Number three, if you want to connect with someone, find a way to help that person. So as I was saying before, you want to um, find work with three people, find a way that you can be a giver and uh, ask them what is a good referral, what is a good lead for them. And try to set up an appointment with someone that you know that would benefit them and re return to a one-on-one -on -one and down the road you build the relationship. Uh, be intriguing, interesting. Um, talk about your hobbies a little bit so you make a connection, uh, not just talk about work. Uh, think people, not positions. Always remember we're people first. We're not just the title that we have on the name badge. Always keep that in mind. Um, and uh, once again, we're going to make the best of 2017. And we're going to network our way to the top. As Zig Ziglar says, see you at the top. Thanks again.